Well, hello, welcome back to another episode of Zero Sixty. Now, this is uh, not a normal video. I wanted to try and highlight for the people that are really interested in the technical side of these AHP swaps, what's going on inside the car. Now, when I was actually in the car with Dan yesterday, when we were doing this, I didn't realize how much he was using the clutch and he uses the clutch a lot. So throughout this video, pay attention to the clutch leg. That's that one right there and how often he's using it. The turbo lamic can actually be set up to automatically sense the handbrake and basically disengage the drive to the rear wheels when you pull the handbrake. However, Dan has not set that up. He's left it more like a traditional manual setup. So if he's pulling the handbrake, he must dip the clutch to stop the drive going to the rear wheels. But throughout the video, listen to how this box takes the power, how quickly it shifts, how it keeps the drive going to the rear wheels when he's under acceleration whilst blazing the tires. It really does give it a good showcase, I guess, of how good this box is for drifting and it just works. We we weren't 100% that it was gonna work this well for this long. We thought it might overheat. We thought we might have slip issues, but it just took it. It just took it all day. This isn't all the runs, but it does start with the very first run that Dan had in the morning. The car was doing some weird things as it was getting hot, uh, but basically when he removed some of those safeties for the coolant temp, it, it sort of picked up throughout the day and you will see the first runs is a bit down on power. This is raw footage. I haven't messed with the audio. I've left in all the sections where Dan is talking to the other drivers or talking to the passenger. Um, and I apologize for some of the language. Just keep it in mind, this is raw footage, but it's a technical video that uh, hopefully some of you will enjoy watching and help you understand the setup. Enjoy. Who's that? That's my apprentice. Oh, is it? Yeah. What's in it? Luxury seat too, you like sink into it as it yeah. goes. <laughs> I'm like, oh, this is really relaxing. <laughs> said the same thing when he got in it at Archie. You can quite literally just fucking like draw a line and put it on it. Yeah. Holy shit. Yeah, it's pretty good to be in. Like you, you don't feel like it's gonna do weird shit on you. Nah, fucking hell. Even when it's at a lot of lock too, you can like drive it into it. Yeah. You wanna go the fast line or you wanna go slow line? I'll go fast, I'll follow you. Yeah, right. Sweet. They won't let us go different lines, you have to go same yeah. lines. Yeah, yeah sweet. Right. Uh, well, that was fucking weird. <laughs>
easier to go over that line. It does, it looks easier. Like this car likes it. Yeah. This feels a little misfiry. I might go pull the coils out. Is it? Yeah. I, I was like, I wasn't sure if, I thought I heard it, but I thought it was the tyres flapping or something. Yeah, no, I'm pretty sure it's misfiry. Okay. and everything you're just like boom yeah so oh, when you're down shifting you're not clutching nah you're just doing it yeah even up shifting oh okay yeah because yeah. it's auto it's literally just, just clutch kicking yeah yeah okay i'll just pull the shifter and let it clutch kick yeah and it's like a nice shifter too yeah did you make this nah it's like a uh like off the shelf it. dct shifter so yeah. it's like a simulator style that makes it feel really mechanical it's awesome wow. yeah just the sound like it yeah, and like, you know with sequentials, you pull it, it fucking tries to rip out of yeah, your hand. Yeah. It doesn't do that, which is really cool. Good? Yeah, I can do it. <laughs> ready, to, ready to buy a new drift car? I can't leave the stupid handbrake alone. <laughs> <laughs> Ending up. 
I was like, oh, I'll just watch where he goes. <laughs> <And> I <reckon, laughs> I think if, if you're in the S13 then, you are buried into him. Like, yeah. just this car, you can just stop it. Yeah. I can't believe it. Yeah, it's fucking sweet, eh? The way it pulls, the way it does everything is really nice. You were like on the gas for ages. I'm like, he's definitely going off. <laughs> and you're like, Rrr! and then you still stop basically off the dirt. <laughs> oh, fuck. I was, I was doing this because of like all the rocks and shit. <laughs> I mean, you didn't even really hit him. Oh, man. I was just focused on his quarter. I'm yeah. like, right, eh? I'll just do what he's doing. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Sure. Uh, what? Yeah, it's just getting hot. I gotta turn the coolant temp safety off. <laughs> it actually does it. Like, it cools down pretty quick though. Yeah, yeah it's alright, it's at 105. It just it gets up there and doesn't really come all the way back. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you can do that. So much that? Yeah. Same with this. Wow. Wild. I'll oh, check the eyes, Mark. Sorry? Yeah, this is sick.
Okay, all good. So that's it there. Let me know your thoughts on how that gearbox is working in a drift car. I knew it was gonna work. Well, I know it works well when you're trying to go fast in a straight line, um, but I was really impressed with how well it works when you're beating on it in such an abusive way, especially with a virtual clutch pedal. Um, yeah, let me know what you think. Let me know if you think your drift car should have one of these setups. Let me know if you think there's any issues with the way it's working. I'm here for all the feedback. Guys, thank you all for watching and drive safe.